In this video, I'm going to show you how to add audio into your PowerPoint file. Now, open your PowerPoint file and go to the slide that you want to add audio to. Click the Insert tab on the top. Enter the Insert tab, go to the very right and find the Audio button and click it. If you have already recorded the audio file and saved that on your hard drive of your computer, from the audio drop-down menu, choose Audio from File. Browse your computer and find the audio file that you saved on your computer, PowerPoint support, MP3 files, and WAV files. Choose the file and click Insert. It will take some time to insert the audio depending on the audio size. Once imported, a little speaker icon will show up on the PowerPoint slide. If you want to edit the audio file, go up to the Menu Type tab and choose Audio Tools. There are two tabs under Audio Tools. One is Format, which is used to decorate the little speaker icon, like adding a frame to it. The other one is Playback, which is the one that we are going to use here to edit our audio. There are a lot of options for you to edit your audio file. For example, if you want your students to have some control of the audio file, like the audio will only be played after the students hit the play button, you can go to um, the tab and find the menu Start, and there is a drop-down menu next to Start. Uh, click the drop-down menu and choose Unclick. In this way, the audio will only be played after the students hit the play button. On the contrary, if you don't want your students to have control of the audio file, enter the drop-down menu, choose the first option automatically. In this way, the audio will be start uh, automatically when the slide is played. If you don't want uh, the little speaker icon to show when the slide is show, check the box of hide during show. If you want the audio to rewind after playing, check the box of rewind after playing. Similarly, if you want the audio to loop until it stopped, check the box of loop until stopped. If you don't want rewind or loop, just uncheck the two boxes. Now, if you want to preview what the audio will look like when the slide is shown, go to the bottom of PowerPoint and click the slideshow button. Now the audio will be played automatically or on click depending on what you chose previously. Just a reminder that if you want your student to have some control of the audio, like if the audio will be played after they hit the play button, don't hide the little icon because the students want to see the little icon and the play button to control the audio. Now exit the slideshow mode by clicking the escape button on your keyboard. If you have a one large audio file that you want it to be played across the whole PowerPoint file, there's a way to do it. From the drop-down menu next to Start, uh, we have chose to automatically and unclick previously. Now the third option is our uh, choice. Choose the third option, Play Across Slides. Again, go to the bottom and choose the Slideshow button to preview it. Now the audio is played. If you click to go to the next slide, the audio continues to play. Click again to go to the next, the audio continues to play, it's not stopped. Now let's delete the audio file and I'm going to show you how to record your audio inside PowerPoint. Go to the slide in which your audio file has been inserted in. Click the little speaker icon and press the delete key on your keyboard. Click the insert tab on the top. Again, go to the very right and click the drop down menu of audio. Choose record audio from the drop down menu. Then a little record sound window will open. You may choose to change the audio name or not, and then you can click the red record button to record your voice. After recording, click the blue stop button to stop the recording. You may use the button with a little blue triangle to preview your audio. After previewing, you can click OK to insert the audio. If you would like to edit this audio file, the procedures are the same as we showed previously. Click the Audio Tools tab. Select Playback. 
Under Playback, you may choose to play the audio automatically or on click, or you may want to rewind it or loop it or hide during slideshow. We showed that previously. Sometimes, when the students download the PowerPoint file from Blackboard, the audio does not work correctly, probably because the operating system or the PowerPoint version they are using are not compatible with the PowerPoint the instructors are using. There is a safer way to do it, which is saving the PowerPoint file as a PowerPoint slideshow. Click the File tab. Go to Save As and click it. The Save As window opens, and go to the bottom. There is a place called Save As Type. Click the drop-down menu beside Save As Type. PowerPoint allows you to save PowerPoint file as so many kind of file types. From all the choices, find the PowerPoint show. The file extension is .ppsx. Browse the computer to find a place to save the file and give it a name. Then click the Save button at the bottom. Double click to open the PowerPoint slideshow file. PowerPoint will automatically open as a slideshow mode, in which the audio will be safer on the students' own computers. Check to see if the audio file is played correctly. If you want to close the slideshow mode, just hit the Escape button on your keyboard.